Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, April 25th, 2018. Well, we're going to have a rather wet morning out there with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 50s and easterly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour, increasing to 10 to 20 miles per hour as we move on through the morning. And you can see some areas of rainfall here, heavy at times over eastern Pennsylvania, starting to develop along the New Jersey coast. Just a wonderful conditions for uh, the morning rush hour just in time to start. Very heavy rainfalls on the way. And that, of course, is going to lead to some delays. So definitely expect that as you head in for this morning. This low pressure system currently over central North Carolina will be lifting northward towards the New Jersey coast and then into eastern New England by the time we get to this evening, leading to periods of heavy rainfall throughout the day today and some windy conditions. On the radar, you can see that heavy rainfall starting to develop. We have one very heavy batch just off the New Jersey coast. Looks like it's uh, starting to pivot right into the coastal plain and heading towards Long Island. We have another area of very heavy rainfall over eastern Pennsylvania. And all of this is going to consolidate as our low pressure system intensifies and lifts northward through the morning and into the early afternoon. By the time we get to the evening, we'll start to see more of a scattered nature to the showers and then clearing skies heading towards midnight. On the latest infrared satellite picture, we're watching this upper level feature right here. You see that little spin? This upper level low is going to start to pivot all of this strong lifting right into the coastal plain. And that's going to lead to some very heavy rainfall expected right along the coast. And also some periods of heavy rainfall also over the interior as well. Looking anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall with some localized areas up to two inches of rain, leading to some urban flooding potential. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Periods of rain heavy at times. Temperatures will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, mid to upper 60s everywhere else. For tonight, those showers start to leave, clearing skies towards tomorrow morning with winds from the west at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Look for lows in the upper 40s. For tomorrow afternoon, scattered cloud cover is expected with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s throughout the region. Now this area of low pressure that will be over the southeast will lift northward by the time we get to Friday morning with periods of showers, a few heavy downpours are possible. It's going to be a rather wet raw day with a nice easterly wind locked in. Look for lows in the upper 40s, highs in the lower to mid 50s. On Saturday, a cold front will exit early in the morning with a few isolated showers followed by clearing skies. With a westerly wind coming off the Appalachian Mountains, we're going to see our temperatures warm up rather nicely. Look for lows in the mid to upper 40s, highs in the lower to mid 60s. On Sunday, high pressure will build in with sky cloud cover a bit cooler. Lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. On Monday, high pressure is in place with clear skies. Look for lows in the upper 30s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, lower to mid 60s everywhere else. Then our warm-up starts. Now, what's going to happen is that this high-pressure system is going to lock in off the southeast and southern mid-Atlantic coast, leading to a southwesterly wind for Tuesday all the way on through Friday. And that means a nice warm-up is on the way. On Tuesday, look for lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s along the immediate coast. Upper 50s to mid 60s on Long Island because we're going to get that southwesterly wind right off of the Atlantic Ocean. But in the Delaware River Valley, we're talking about highs in the lower to mid 70s. On Wednesday, more of a uniform temperature profile as warmer air really starts to build into the region. Look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 40s for lows. Upper 60s to lower 70s on Long Island lower to mid 70s along the immediate New Jersey coast, and then mid 70s to lower 80s throughout the rest of the region. Warmest conditions, of course, will be in the Delaware River Valley. And for Thursday and Friday, we're basically looking at similar conditions, a bit humid, with dry weather conditions, lows in the lower to mid 60s, highs in the mid 70s to lower 80s throughout the region. But don't get used to those temperatures because our warm end to next week is going to be met with a rather strong cold front by next weekend with temperatures falling right back into the 50s, 60s, and lower 70s for highs. So certainly enjoy the warm end of the week and the warm up on the way, but just don't get too used to it because unfortunately we're going to be falling right back into our cool weather pattern. 
That is your forecast discussion for today. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and as always, stay safe out there.